I'll be honest, I have no clue how gas can be stopped without fusion. Chapter 80 of Dragon Ball Super is here and it's crazy to think that the manga is only 20 chapters away from the big 100. Anyway, let's not waste any more time and get right into this review. The chapter continues the battle between Granola and Gas, with Gas trying to overpower Granola. He smashes the ground to cover him as he charges towards the Cerulean, but he easily evades, so Gas tries eye beams which miss, and then a kick which also misses, and then proceeds to destroy a bunch of rubble while attempting to hit Granola. But little does he know that this is all part of the Cerulean's plan, as he then uses the Hakai on all the debris around Gas to distract him as he goes in for a kick, sending fear down the heat of spines. The two continue to clash, but we now see that Gas is evening things up with Granola, meaning he's gotten used to enough of his power to keep up. Vegeta is looking worried, which is appropriate because Gas pulls off a mad uppercut, but Granola surprises us once again by using the instant transmission to evade and kick Gas twice, and when he comes to, he ambushes him with clones. Just when everyone thought Granola has this covered, Gas pushes through and smacks around the clones because just like the multiform technique, Gas realized that clones split Granola's power and he takes them all out at once by copying Freezer's multi-finger death beam. Not gonna lie, he had me thinking he got the real Granola for a second, but the next panel shows us that he was waiting for the right opportunity to get Gas from close range, giving us a beautiful shot of Granola unleashing all his power in Gas's stomach. The heaters now interfere to try and rescue Gas from the lake, but we find out that Granola takes any damage dealt to his clones, which also means he's very weakened from the battle. Once Gas is brought ashore, Elect returns to the battlefield and removes the tooth necklace around Gas's head. This entire time, we thought it was just a fashion statement, but it turns out that it's actually a power restrainer and apparently removing it turned Gas insane against Bardock 40 years ago, because he was too powerful. We then see Gas's new form. He gets ripped and extremely vascular, but the main change is that he's grown two horns that face down out from the sides of his head. Once transformed, he immediately charges at Granola, looking like the OG Broly once he loses control and proceeds to hulk him around the field. Now, from these panels I can tell Toyotaro had been playing Injustice Gods Among Us a lot as he basically copied Doomsday's super move, but yeah, it's not looking good for Granola. We all know that when a character becomes like Broly, there's only one man who can fix this, but Vegeta would rather know how Bardock beat Gas when he did the same power up 40 years ago. But unfortunately, Manito was unconscious, so he never actually saw what happened, making him completely useless. While Gas is battering away at Granola, Maki tries to bring him back to his senses, but instead, he just goes wild, attacking everyone and everything. His siblings, the rocks, and then my boy Vegeta for no reason. And since Vegeta ain't finished healing yet, Goku steps in to try and help. Now we'd expect Gas to batter him too, but instead, seeing Goku reminds him of Bardock and how he was beaten by him, making him power down and get blasted away by one punch. Gas then begins to lose his mind, but Elec speaks to him and somehow manages to calm him down by appealing to his manhood and ego. Gas quite literally then gasses out, deflating to his old size and somehow finds a hairband to tie up his hair along with creating some new clothes for himself. Gas has now mastered his full power and is now more powerful than ever. Side note, he also keeps the horns in his head, which is actually a nice design change. What I want to know is, how exactly will our heroes beat Gas? Are we going to get Gogeta or is Vegeta going to get a mastered ultra ego form with eyebrows? Time will tell, but all in all, this was a pretty good chapter, but I wish they gave us more on how Bardock beat Gas properly the first time around, but oh well, can't have it all. So once again, I appreciate you man taking your time to watch this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and bless.